Welcome to another video in our basic skills set for Affinity Designer on the iPad. And in this case we're looking at images in text and shapes. That is if you have a block of text or a shape and you want an image to appear inside it. Often referred to as punched out text. It's a quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to put pictures inside letters and inside any shape you desire, such as the knockout you can see there with the mountain range behind the words. So launch Affinity Designer and pull out a white rectangle to cover the canvas. Open the background you want by dragging in a suitable image from the stock photo studio for example, or you may even have another image you're working with. Now let us type some words over the background. Pick the artistic text tool and select the font of your choice and set the size too. I would suggest quite a heavy font like I've got there and fairly large because you're going to be able to see the image through that font in a very thin font. Um, won't show anything. Now here I've chosen the Payton's one font at size 200 points. Ignore the font colour, that doesn't matter in this exercise. Now in the layers panel we notice there are two layers, the background layer, which is the stars that you just pulled in, and the text layer, the words deep space. I might also add that there's the background rectangle that we pulled out there and that's on the bottom. And you can leave that there or you can remove that. But to get the effect we need drag the background layer up into the letters layer you just typed. Now at the moment you can see it's kind of a group but originally there was the rectangle you dragged out, the image that you placed on it and then the text that you typed over it. And the result of that example there is I've dragged the image layer up into the text layer halfway into the layer and that's what it looks like. You can now see the stars through the text. We can select the text and either save it with a transparent background and I've simply hidden the white rectangle and that shows you that it's clearly just the text with the star field background. Or you can just copy and paste it into another background. So now let us put an image inside some shapes other than the letters. As an example here, we'll pick some shape from the icon assets already available in Affinity Designer and fill it with a picture. Now you go to Assets, and iOS 12 in this case, and it's very, very faint and hard to see there, and I do wish they'd fix that. But under the Assets panel, expand the Icons section. Click and drag the calendar icon onto the document, which is very small of course, because it's an icon asset. Adjust its size after selecting it with the move tool. Now I've selected it there, but I've not yet adjusted the size. There I've adjusted the size, pulled it out quite large. Now select File, Place, and place the image you wish to set inside the calendar icon. Here we'll use the image of flowers to fill inside the icon. Go to the Layers panel and drag the image layer into the icon layer. Again, similar method. You can see I've got two layers below those turned off. That's the ones we just did with the deep space one. So I've got the calendar icon and the image and you drag the image up so it sits just inside the calendar icon and you can see it is because it's slightly offset and appears to be grouped into it. It's actually a mask but we won't get into that technical stuff just yet. Now you can set images into desired shapes which is slightly different because a shape is a different type of um, image. Consider shapes beyond those readily available within assets in Affinity Designer. Let's pick the flower shape figure shown and put some image inside it. Now that's just a flower shape that I've created. Very simple to do. 
select the flowers and untick oh I might add that I'm in the pixel persona here so select the flowers and untick the layer to hide it select the shape in the layers panel then rasterize it so the shape that has that one two three four that five leaf clover in it needs to be rasterized if you haven't done it already that is turn from whatever it is an image into a rasterized image now next select the flood selection tool and tap on the shape so the flood selection tool on the left hand side there you can see it halfway down and that's only available in the pixel persona then go to your five leaf clover there select that and tap on on the shape and the shape will turn white no longer orange but white now untick the flower layer again and you can see it there the one the photo with the flowers in it and drag it down this time so the blue position line is halfway in the shape layer and release it you should see this so the originally you dragged up with this one because it's a raster object in the pixel persona you drag it down that's it for this exercise. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.